Hello YouTube, we're going to do a video today to satisfy my curiosity basically. First off, I'm an idiot, that's my wife, I don't know what I'm doing, so this is my first time reloading, I've never done it before in my life, don't do anything I do, don't use any of my recipes, don't, don't even try it. I'm not responsible for any decisions you make. Secondly, anybody out there wants to make negative comments in the section, have at it, you're not going to get a response from me. Third, uh, let's get to it. This is not going to be a long video. This will be part one of two. Two will be me shooting. And I have a tripod now. So it should be a lot more stable. Anyhow, shooting my guns. A couple of my guns Monday. Weather was terrible. And uh, my heavy barreled 25 short mag wooden group. Sorry, 25 super short mag wooden group. My heavy barreled VTR 223 wooden group. But the Thompson Center Compass, the $270 economical introductory line of deer hunting rifles grouped. And I'm like, hmm, maybe there's more to look into here. First off, big shout out to Johnny's Reloading Bench. That dude got me started on this load. Excellent channel. Go check him out. He's awesome. So, I would always go to Rural King or wherever and buy Federal... Power Shock 140 grain bullets for this gun just to shoot with. They were $19 a box before the craziness started. And then I got to noticing some of the match and other brands that weren't even match. Large rifle primers. Wait, ha! Sorry. There we go. Large rifle primers. So I got to thinking what's the difference between the large rifle primer and the small rifle primer? So what we're going to do is we're going to take these, not that one because it's got some dings in it. We're going to take these brass that are once fired, and that one got stepped on obviously. Uh, there we go. Once fired brass, we're going to neck size them, decap them, prime them. Same powder, same bullet, 140 grain Hornady Amax. Uh, same trim length, same seating depth, and we're going to shoot them through a crony and test them on paper. I'm curious if the large rifle primer will affect chamber pressure, velocity, speed, anything. So, this is not going to be a long drawn out video, we'll just get to the point. Now I'm going to decap them. All right, there's six. Now we'll trim them. My trim length I will be using is 1.910. See what we got. One point nine one five. Okay. Small rifle. Primer pocket cleaned. <clears throat> hmm, that's magical. I'll do the rest and get back to you. Mmm, and now we chamfer and deburr. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Now we prime. Small rifle primer. Large. 
Lord Raffle Prama. <clears throat> Case is primed, trimmed, deburred, and chamfered. Now, let me adjust this camera for a second. I'm going to use this Lee powder drop measure thing. Uh, one, what I'm going to do, it's great for bulk loading. I want to load 39.5 grains of H4350. I'm going to set this to drop 39.2, and I'll finish it off in my triple beam scale with my trickler. I will say, what I've learned from this, if you use a longer grain extruded powder, sometimes it will hang up in the neck, so pay attention to how much drops, so you get in the rhythm. You'll think it dropped 39.5 when really it only dropped 24, and you take a, something and peck on the neck, and the rest of the powder falls. So, pay attention to that for sure. Alright, let's start with the electronic scale. Tear. Wrong button. There we go. Tear. We'll give it a powder drop. Thirty nine point two. Always run five or six drops through this when you're trying to minimal. When you're trying to set up how much comes out because it varies on a fresh load of powder i'd already had this one set up 39.2 i already have my triple beam scale set up for 39.5 so i'll go through one of these with you wait let me get on camera We'll start with a large raffle primer. And there she is. Got myself in a bind there. I'll charge the rest of these and get back to you in case you wanted to see it again. Thirty nine point five. Okay, we've got all our cases charged. <clears throat> I won't be using a crimp for this. I got my overall length by chambering a uh, empty round, so I know what my gun wants. I think I seated it 50 thousandths off the lens. So we'll turn our press over to the cedar die. They're pretty looking bullets.
They say you can crimp bullets without cantaloupers. I personally don't because nine out of 10 of them, they're used for accuracy. I'll give you my honest opinion. I've taken a deer or two in my life. If you don't believe me, there's a few of them. The best bullet for hunting, Remington Corlock. I mean, in my area where I hunt, Remington Core Locks. Because you've got a 200 yard shot at most. And they always perform. I started reloading to see how bullets acted differently on an animal. And I'm curious to see how these do. Dummy round. And fully loaded 6.5 Creedmoors. Mm, let's double check here. Two point eight five six compared to my COAL last time, which is two point eight five five. I'll go back and give this a fuzz turn. I guess it's a thousandth long, but you know, accuracy is a journey, not a destination. So stick around. Part two will be coming this weekend. Uh, let me know in the comments what you know or think will happen. Till then, keep them straight, guys. See y'all.